Hello and welcome to this category of videos which we've titled Picture in Picture. When we make our audio visual sequences we need to try to create a smooth flow from one image to another. It's that vital ingredient I think which gives our slideshows charm and audience appeal and it's also why in many cases we try to make sure that all the images in our slideshow are the same size. There are always going to be some exceptions though but generally speaking trying to mix landscape and portrait format images together in one slideshow particularly if it's a pictorial slideshow is almost certain to interrupt that smooth flow and reduce the charm and the audience appeal that we're looking for. They say that a picture sometimes is worth a thousand words. I'm not sure we need a visual reference for what we're talking about here, but why not? It's easy to create it in Photoshop. Here we have our portrait style slideshow and with the aid of Photoshop's layers I can quickly demonstrate what it will look like if we move to a portrait format and then of course we'd have to come back at some stage to a landscape format and even when we add the delicate transition effects that the slideshow software offers us it doesn't improve matters that much so picture-in-picture -picture techniques sprang from our need to present portrait format images within a landscape format slideshow and we wanted to add a little bit of charm and audience appeal at the same time. But it doesn't have to end with just showing portrait format images, we can go much further than that. The techniques are very versatile and they're pretty creative too. Because we can take the basic technique of picture in picture and present it in a wide variety of ways. We can use the static picture-in-picture -picture technique and this is where we don't intend to put any animation into the images at all. But we can take things a stage further and we can animate the images and you'll see we've done that with one of our videos where we animate these two images into the background. And there are other techniques as well like our clipping groups example and also the scattered pictures technique. In addition to the many different styles we can create with picture in picture, there are different ways we can approach the preparation of the images. We can do most, if not all, of the work in an image editor, or we can work in pictures to exe. Although we do need to have one eye on the size of the images we're using, particularly if we're thinking about animation. In this category of videos we demonstrate the techniques to work in any way you choose. Any version of Photoshop or any version of Photoshop Elements will be suitable to do any preparation that you need to do to follow our tutorials. In some of the slideshows we've made recently, the picture-in-picture -picture techniques have almost taken over to dominate the show when it's appropriate to do so. In other cases we can just have a small string, maybe three, four or five images sitting in the middle or somewhere in our slideshow just to use the effect to be able to show those portrait style images.